Hi guys and welcome to Art by Emma. So this week's video has a bit of a backstory to it. In Mariah's Create This Book there was a page that suggested painting with food so I'm going to try painting with sauce and not just ketchup, no no no, all the sauces. So we've got ketchup, brown sauce, mustard, barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, chilli sauce, sriracha and pica lily. And here's me just wasting time putting them all in rainbow order because why not? It's rainbow. So the first thing I need to do is swatch them because I need to know what colour they're going to come out and what sort of coverage I'm going to get. So it's out with the palette and off we go. And this, let me tell you, is when it starts getting really smelly. So we're just going to pop the lid open on the ketchup and try and squeeze that out with some form of control. But as we all know, ketchup either doesn't come out at all or comes out in one big blob, but that wasn't too bad. So I'm going to kind of treat this like watercolours and wet my brush and just see what sort of coverage we're going to get with it. And so far that's not looking great. I'm going to have to really build this up. So I'm going to pop a great big blob of ketchup on there and see what happens. And yeah, getting a little bit of better coverage here. So I've got this really thick coverage and this thin coverage to work with. So again, I'm just going to work my way through all the sources, um, checking the colours and coverage again that I get from them all. And we seem to be following a similar theme. I really have to build up the uh, source on the paper to get any sort of good coverage out of it. And they all seem to be on the very similar colour spectrums. So I'm using this time too in these swatches to try and come up with some sort of idea what I'm going to paint with them. Now the mayonnaise, although it's not showing much of a colour, it's white. I'm thinking I could use it to lighten my colours and also as a base for my other sources because it's uh, nice and thick. Now I'm intrigued, has anyone ever tried painting with sauces before? If you have, why don't you mention it in the comments below? And now I've got a good idea of what sort of colours I've got to work with and the coverage, um, let's come up with an idea. So I've got these very mini cute little watercolour papers that I'm going to try my design on. So I'm just going to open these up and pull out one sheet to see what we're working with. And yeah, these actually feel like good quality paper, they've got a nice texture to them and I got them from my local Aldi's. So it was out with my trusty pencil to sketch out some designs. So after much deliberation, I've decided what else can I paint with sauces? A hamburger, complete with drippy sauce, mustard, cheese, the lot. <laughs> and to accompany that, a nice juicy hot dog smothered in ketchup. Done. So now on to the fun bit, the really smelly bit, the painting. Is it called painting when you're using sauce or is it called sourcing? Let me know what you think in the comments below. So I've added a bit of barbecue sauce to this chilli sauce and mayonnaise combo to try and get myself a nice light brown for the bun. So it's time now to get on with the painting. I mean the sourcing. I mean I don't know what I mean. I'm so confused. But this isn't going on like paint. It's not paint. So it's going to be a case of really building up these colours again. And I'm actually really liking the colour of this bun but there's consistency not so much. So burger bun done, it's time to move on to the hot dog bun and I'm going to use the same colour for this. And again the consistency, the coverage is not good so I'm going to really try and load this up, put big scoops on and see if I get better coverage. And yeah that seems to be doing a much better job. That's looking much much better too. So I'm going to do the other side of the hot dog bun and I'm also going to repaint, re-sauce the burger bun because that's looking a little bit pale too. And this sauce is so stinky, you'd think it would make me want to eat burgers but no really just just no. And that's the burger buns finished. I don't know how long that's going to take to dry but I'm going to move on to painting the burgers, the patties. And I'm going to use the dark brown of the barbecue sauce for this. And I'm really liking the effect of this. I'm not going to give it another coat, not going to make it any thicker. I like the texture, I like the graininess of it. It's really looking like a burger. So I'm going to paint the other burger in this double whopper. Done. And now I'm going to do the ketchup. And what else am I going to use? But yeah, ketchup. So I'm really going to slap that on there because I want it to look like it's really oozing out the sides of the bun. So now it's time to move on to that lovely slice of cheese. And I'm going to use Pick a Lily for this. And although it's a really nice, bright, cheesy colour, because it's lumps in juice, the juice is really pale. I could have blitzed it up, I suppose, but I wanted to use it at source. So I'm really having to build this colour up. A cheese done. And now it's time for the last layer of my burger, the mustard layer. And of course, I'm going to use mustard. And now I hate mustard, I mean really really hate mustard, like if mustard was the last food on the earth I'd just starve to death, so the smell is really turning my stomach. The things I put myself through in the name of heart, am I crazy? Yeah? Do I love it? Yeah. So the coverage on my piccalilli cheese seems to be really wishy-washy, so I'm going to mix in some scoops of mayonnaise to see if I can get some better coverage. And that seems to be working really well. I'm actually really pleased with how this is turning out. So in my piccalilli mayonnaise concoction, I'm adding some barbecue sauce to try and make a hot dog sausage colour. Mmm, yummy. 
but it seems to have done the trick. It's looking really uh, hot doggy. And not hot doggy like a hot dog. I mean hot doggy like a hot dog. You get what I mean. Moving on, this mayonnaise seems to help the consistency of the paint sauce really well. I mean, I'm running really low on white paint. Should I? No, no, Emma, you really shouldn't. So this is where we're at at the moment. The sauce has dried and I just want to add the ketchup to my hot dog. I did think about topping it with mustard, but I wanted a brighter colour. I just don't think the yellow mustard would stand out enough. That and I hate mustard. So I'm laying this on really thick with a nice fine paintbrush to hopefully give it some texture and dimension. And with that done, I just wanted to add some little swirls and blobs of sauce all around the paper as a kind of background just to indicate what I'm actually using here. So while you're still here I'd like to thank you so so much for watching my video and sticking with it with me. If you enjoyed this video why don't you give me a thumbs up and if you like any of my other videos why don't you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. I'm here every Friday. So this is all coming together quite nicely, I'm just touching up a few bits on the burger there. It's quite muted for me, I'm more rainbows but yeah, I'm kind of liking how this is turning out. So here we have it. Here's my little sauce painting extravaganza. It's a little bit of a mess, but I guess that's the point. I really enjoyed painting with uh, sauce this week, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Goodbye.